Are you wanting to know what are the signs of pain in your Boston Terrier? In this video, I'm gonna cover the 10 signs of pain in dogs coming up. Hey everybody, welcome to the Boston Terrier Society YouTube channel. Now consider subscribing if you're someone who wants to learn more about the breed, learn what it's like to be an owner, hear expert interviews, as well as connect with other Boston Terrier lovers just like yourself. I'm Donnie Gardner, the founder of bostonterriersociety.com. Over there is Bella, my Boston of over a decade now, but today happens to be her 11th birthday. We already gave her a nice little dog treat, right Bella? Okay, before I get into the 10 signs of pain in dogs, if you think your Boston Terrier is in pain right now, you need to stop this video and contact your veterinarian to see what their guidance is as far as what you should be doing for your Boston. But if that's not the case, this is a good video just to give you a reference so you can see these signs. Let's say, you know, you come home and you're seeing these type of signs with your Boston, you know that, hey, they might be in pain and you can investigate this further. Now, the signs that I'm gonna be sharing with you actually come from an article written on the Boston Terrier Society website. You can check out that article in the show notes below, but it's written by Dr. Addie Reinhardt discussing the 10 signs of pain within Boston Terriers and then what you should do about. So you can check that article out in the show notes below. Let's get into the 10 signs. Okay, pain sign number 10. This is behavior changes. Anytime that your Boston Terrier is starting to act a little different as far as their normal behavior, this could be a sign of pain. So for example, let's say you have a Boston who greets you every day whenever you come home right at the door, and for some reason today they're not getting out of bed, this could potentially be a sign of pain. Another example could be their normal behavior is to play around at night or maybe to play fetch with you, and for some reason they don't wanna do it, this could also be a sign. So the most important thing for you to do is just to always be monitoring your Boston Terrier's behavior. The more you understand about your Boston, the better you're gonna be able to to recognize signs that they might need your help. Okay, coming in at number nine is vocalizing. Now this is an obvious one. Obviously, if your dog is yelping, it is in pain. In my example with Bella, sometimes whenever I pick her up, she'll you know let out a little yelp. And I talked to the vet about it, and it seems to be like there's no issues on the inside. It's just, it might be her arthritis that kind of comes out, especially in the winter months. So if you notice that your Boston's whining or yelping, this is obviously a sign of pain. Okay, coming in at number eight is aggression. So even the nicest of dogs, whenever they're in pain, they can become aggressive. And think about this, whenever you're in pain, obviously you don't want anybody messing with you, so you might be a little grouchy. Now, Bella here, she's actually nipped at me once, going back to that same thing where I talked to the vet to see if there was any issues, but whenever I picked her up to go ahead and put her harness on her, she's nipped at me, she didn't bite me actually, but it's still that form of aggression. It's still that form of aggression that shows that they're in pain. Coming in at number seven is decreased appetite. Now this has never happened for Bella because if she's for whatever reason lost her appetite, I know something terrible is happening. But if your dog has lost its appetite, there's a good chance that it's feeling unpleasant and it might be in some pain. And this could be even from their mouth. So this is something you're gonna wanna talk to your vet about. Now, if your Boston Terrier has had loss of appetite, go ahead and check the show notes below because there is an article on the website that covers why is my Boston Terrier not eating and that can help give you some deeper insight into this issue. Coming in at number six, is your dog being lethargic? Meaning is it just kind of laying around the house, doesn't want to move a lot? This could be a sign that they're not feeling well. Coming in at number five is panting. Obviously dogs pant to cool themselves down, especially in the summer months, but in this article that Dr. Addie Reinhardt had written, she actually talks about a slip disc could be a reason that your dog is doing some excessive panting. This is something that you're gonna to wanna to talk to your veterinarian about to see what they have to say. Coming in at number four is shaking or trembling. Obviously, if your dog is shaking or trembling, that could be a sign that they're unpleasant. Now, if you're interested in seeing something a little bit more in depth on the shaking and trembling of Boston Terriers, you can check a video that I did out in the show notes below, just covering, you know, why is your Boston Terrier shaking? That can help give you some deeper insight into it. Coming in at number three, an obvious one, but limping is a sign that your Boston Terrier might have some sort of leg pain. Or if they're not limping, you may notice that they're not wanting to put any weight on it. This was definitely the case with Bella's back leg, her back right leg. In the winter months, her arthritis gets bad and she won't even move it. Like she literally walks like she's a three-legged dog at times. This hasn't happened in a while, but she'd go down the stairs with just using three legs. So this is a sign that they're in pain and you're gonna wanna talk to your vet. Coming in at number two is strange body postures. Pain in your dog's back or neck could put them in a weird position. Like if they're having neck pain, your Boston Terrier might be low to the ground. So if you see your Boston in some weird, strange position, you're gonna wanna consider, are they in pain? Coming in at number one is eye squinting. Now eye problems 
with Boston Terriers in general is something that's common with them because they do have a bit of larger eyes. Boston Terriers can develop things like glaucoma, corneal ulcers, as well as dry eyes. And this could be a reason that your Boston is squinting and it can be painful. Now, if your Boston Terrier is doing any type of eye squinting, this is definite you must call your veterinarian because any eye issues require immediate veterinary care. So once again, if your Boston Terrier is doing any of these 10 things, you're gonna to wanna to speak with your veterinarian. And if for whatever reason you think your Boston's in pain, call your vet immediately because they're gonna give you better guidance on what you should be doing for your dog. Now, if you're concerned about your vet bill, there is a program that me and Emily had just gotten for Bella a few months back whenever we got our teeth clean. It's called Pedisure and it saves you 25% on any vet procedure, which is really helpful because there is no pre-existing condition clause. So if you have a Boston that's injured right now, you could literally get this pet savings plan because it's not like traditional pet insurance, but you can get it today and then go use it immediately. So whenever Bella got her teeth cleaned, it was, I don't remember the exact amount, but it was over $500 for everything that we did. But we bought the insurance the day before and then we used it. So it saved us literally hundreds of dollars. You can check out Pedisure in the show notes below or the video that I created talking a little bit more about it. That'll be in the show notes as well. So if your biggest concern is taking your Boston Terrier to the vet and the bills that come with it, Pedisure might be a good option to help save you some money. Now, if you haven't subscribed to this YouTube channel, go ahead and subscribe now just so you can get the latest from Boston Terrier Society. If you want to learn more about Boston Terriers, check out this video, 10 things Boston Terriers hate or one of my latest videos here. Otherwise, until next time, life is better with a Boston. Right, Bella?